Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to read a book called Anglerfish, The Sea Devil of the Deep. Try to imagine living 13,000 feet below the ocean surface. No ray of sunlight penetrates those depths. Resources are scarce. Fellow inhabitants are scarer. That is life in the midnight zone. That is life for the anglerfish known as the sea devil of the deep. Still largely a mystery to scientists, the deep sea anglerfish is the source of fascination and awe. To some, the fish resembles a prehistoric creature forgotten by time. To others, she is the embodiment of power, grace, and grit. Using her remarkable physical attributes and a talent for deception to survive one of the harshest environments on the planet. Let's have a look together on how this fish lives. Far, far below the ocean surface, where no trace of sunlight can reach, anglerfish makes her home. She glides slowly through the dark water, always on the hunt. Her jaw protrudes, bearing razor-sharp teeth. She is a fearsome creature. She is the sea devil of the deep. Anglerfish did not always reside in shadow. Her life began as a tiny egg on the surface of the Atlantic Ocean. As a baby fish or fry, she floated gently in the light and feasted on plankton. Near the surface, danger lurked everywhere. Fishing nets and hungry predators prowled the waters. One, two, three years passed. Anglerfish grew. Her torso rounded and her fins lengthened. When her fishing rod sprouted, from her forehead, anglerfish began her descent into deeper water. Halfway there, where streaks of sunlight still teased their way through the great green ocean, anglerfish wobbled in the water. Her cousin, monkfish, swept by. Monkfish's broad brown-green body glistened and his mouth gasped in the murky sea, fishing boats come trawling. Engines churn as they drag a net, scooping whatever is in its path. Anglerfish dodges, diving even deeper, until sunlight is only a memory. Her dark skin is an effective camouflage, allowing her to blend into her surroundings. Dark as midnight, anglerfish makes her own light. A tiny bioluminescent lure glows at the tip of a thin pointed fin that grows between her eyes. She glides alone, fierce, hungry, patient. With a waggle of her tail, she's buried in mud and sand, dangling the glowing orb like her very own fishing pole. Anglerfish waits for a fish, a shrimp, or maybe even a crab to take the bait. Shadows shift. She wiggles her lure, hoping prey will mistake her light for a tasty morsel. A crab shuffles closer. Anglerfish's stomach distends. Her flexible jaw extends. She swallows her meal whole. It's only a morsel, but food is scarce in the midnight zone, and anglerfish can afford to be picky. The cloud of sand settles. Anglerfish isn't alone anymore. A tiny male anglerfish circles, homing in on her back. Closer, closer still, than the pinch as he latches on to her tough skin. 
with a flick of her tail. Anglerfish swims on, carrying the tiny male's body through the dark, a stowaway on her solitary journey. He is being absorbed into her body. Anglerfish will carry him with her always. Theirs is a union necessary for survival. Anglerfish is ready now. Her most important work begins. She releases fertilized eggs, too many to count. They stick together. A thin protective gel binds them on their journey. The massive spawn rises up through the ocean, higher and higher, until it is out of sight, far, far below the ocean surface, where no trace of sunlight can reach. In the darkest, most sparsely inhabited place in the sea, anglerfish is alone again. Anglerfish begin their lives as tiny eggs that are released deep in the ocean and float gently to the surface. The baby fish feast on plankton. As they grow into adulthood, they begin their descent to a depth of 300 feet. To thirteen thousand feet, about one thousand to four thousand meters below the surface, which is called the bathypelagic zone. Unlike some related species, such as monkfish, goosefish, or frogfish, which live in more shallow water, a mere three hundred feet, about ninety meters down, anglerfish mostly live thousands of feet below the surface. Sunlight does not penetrate to that depth. It is always as dark as a starless, moonless night. In fact, that depth is called the midnight zone. Life in this part of the ocean is an isolated existence, with scarce resources. On their descent, anglerfish do live briefly in depths where some sunlight penetrates. These distances make up the mesopelagic zone, also known as the twilight zone. Anglerfish dug the sea devils of the deep, for their gaping jaws and razor-sharp teeth are always on the hunt. These deep sea dwellers look like throwbacks from prehistoric times, but their adaptations are well suited to survival in the ocean's depths. Their dark skin, sometimes covered in spines and warts, allow them to blend into their surroundings. Any organism that an anglerfish lures close suddenly finds itself trapped, like a prisoner in a cell. Anglerfish jaws work like spring hinges, snapping closed quickly as the fish swallows its prey whole. Since meals can be scarce, an anglerfish can expand her stomach to swallow organisms twice her size. In the past, biologists mistook male anglerfish for parasites living under the skin of females. Now they know that a male attaches to a female and becomes absorbed into her body. The union is a matter of survival. Mature males lack a digestive system and cannot survive alone. They use their keen sense of smell to seek out a healthy female, then attach to her by biting into her flesh. Once the male is attached, his jaws are dissolved by enzymes, and his blood fuses with the females. A female anglerfish may carry several males. When the female is ready to reproduce in the spring or early summer, an attached female fertilizes her eggs. She can lay more than a million eggs in a single spawning. Female anglerfish vary in size from six inches to three feet, about. 15 to 90 centimeters long, 
depending on the species, while males are comparatively tiny, averaging two and a half to six inches, about six to fifteen centimeters long.